Lovely a neck to the good of Battle Talk. Star Mover Camp right over the other two leaders here on the outside. And then Stony Bridge is tucked away down on the fence coming up to the turn. You Want Answers being hustled forward from Prayer and Sea. Hey Magic quickly onto the back of You Want Answers. Secret Doubt next of all. Dropping out towards the tail. Capo Dioro but the sprint's on now. Battle Talk races to the lead at the top of the straight by two length Star Mover. Then came behind them Hey Magic starting to run on. It's Battle Talk with 100 left to go. Prayer and Sea's coming through near the inside. Battle Talk 50 from the line. Hey Magic storming home. The post is looming. Battle Talk too good. Battle Talk one from Hey Magic. Simply out. He's done a lot right leading into this campaign and just uh, put another step forward there. Yeah, definitely. He's um, he's taken some really good um, good improvement out of his um, his first run into um, into the second and then into the third. His first up run was great against a couple of nice horses and um, we just took him to Geraldton for a kill and he did the job well and um, again he did a good job today. I think he's um, he's above average. He might be um, one that can can sort of develop into a Saturday horse with time. He's very very immature and narrow and still a little bit weak. With going to Northern and Geraldton, was it just solely to build up the confidence? Yeah, well, I took a truckload to Geraldton, so I thought, well, we might as well go on and, and get a kill. There was a mile maiden, so um, he was a bit unlucky at Northern. Um, saddle slipped right back on him that day, as bad as I've ever seen a saddle slip back, and he only got beaten a small margin. And I rate the horse that beat him, which looked a bit unlucky again today, but in saying that, he had to do the work outside the leader and, um, you know, did the donkey work, and he probably got a little bit lost. But I, I did like the way he sort of kicked and kicked and put a space on him in the straight. It was, um, it was promising. He does appear to do a lot Ryan as well, doesn't he? Settled, although as you mentioned, had to pull the field up as well. Settled nicely, and then when Clint asked, was able to respond. Yeah, he did. He, he's, um, you know, he had the three off his back too, which sort of probably offsets the fact that you stood outside the leader and was left there a long time. But um, you know, I think all credit goes to him. He was outside the leader and did the work. And I think you'll find his first ever trial. We thought the horse was a complete donkey, and we sort of sat him back in his first trial as a two-year-old, and he had no business really even being at the trials the way he looked and how mature he was. And he, he come from a a long way off him and won his trial and we sort of just about fell over and I think you'll find in time that's how um, how his racing pattern will um, will eventuate. Now what are we doing about Quiet Regal in the next? I know this horse is uh, just keeping you uh, on your toes at times. Again, it's been well supported today. Gets to probably go back from the draw. Will that aid its uh, possibility in winning? Yeah, well, I'll just go and back Magic Nino and <laughs> Quiet Regal will win. Simple as that. It's just the way, uh, the way it goes. But yeah, look, he has been disappointing but um, you know, I, I haven't ruled a line through him yet. I still like the horse and hopefully, um, you know, both of them can run one too. Conditions should shoot today. Let's hope we see a big improvement. Best of luck. Thank you.